Good day to you, it is I, Justin Hawkins. This is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Justin Hawkins Rides Again! Um, today, oh, by the way, like and subscribe. Today, tonight, um, I just have to have this open because um, I'm waiting for some food to arrive. And also, I have these vegan jelly babies arranged in a 442 formation. Somebody took out my right back and ate it, so I had to put one of the subs in playing out of position. I don't know how long they'll last, but uh, they're all there anyway. Um, today I'm going to talk about a band, or a single actually, from a band called Idols, uh, and the song is called Car Crash. I've got um, I don't know why I said it in that Roger Moore way, so I've got, I've got to keep this open. Come on, I'm starving. Um, Idols have been going since 2009. Um, but they only released their first album in uh, 2017, so they had eight years to develop. I think that's that's one of the reasons why they, um, when you when you listen to that band, it's like one of the only bands that that I've heard for a, a few years now, where I actually think, oh, I'd love to be in that band. It sounds like so much fun. Um, I saw some I saw some footage on TV of them all rolling about on the floor and just making loads of feedback noise. It's just it's really exciting, really brilliant. Um, I love them. I mean, they've got, like, if, if in an earlier analysis, you may have uh, recognised that uh, I was offended by the glass animals for having no edge whatsoever. Um, Idols is all edge. Um, I don't even think there's a melody as such in, in Car Crash. It's It seems to be basically some rap, really distorted vocal and all of the sort of feedback and the stuff that the guitars and the instruments are doing reaches a crescendo and then he says something about a car crash and then it builds up again, then it drops. It's a drop and build, but there's a really sort of consistent rhythm track and I think it's, it sounds like it's a loop because the one comes in a little bit early, so it's like, doom, what's the drum beat again? And it's got like a, it's got a natural swing to it, like a boom, dun, boom, dun, dun, boom. And it sounds like the, the one is a little bit pushed. And then the second of the, like, like in um, The Ocean by Led Zeppelin, you know that. Um, when it goes. And then on like the third verse. Let it, let. it has that sort of stuttered thing in, in the, it's a really subtle swing to the drums that makes it super unique and like it'd be, it's not, it's not grid rock, but it sounds like a loop somehow, like a, a lazy loop in a good way. Um, it's an ostinato again, this time it's on the bass, it just goes. I think it's a bass, it might be a really heavily detuned guitar, but sometimes he bends it. Rap, I'm not even going to start to rap. <laughs> I know you want me to, but I'm not going to rap. Some of that car crashes. <laughs> no, I can't do it. Um, they look really cool as well. They've got moustaches, some of them. Um, beards, others. Uh, they, they roll around. They're, you know, when you've, been, when you've been in a band for eight years and then you break through uh, and it turns out that you're like a punk band like this is, like a proper punk band, an old school bunch of blokes making a lot of noise and pissing people off and having a laugh doing it. That's what punk is, I think, isn't it? Is that punk? Um, I reckon for that eight years, it's possible that they might have tried other stuff. I don't know enough about their story, but it just sounds like a band that's just given up trying and it's, and it's awesome for it. They, felt they sound really liberated. They just couldn't care less. No concessions to to the grid, you know, the producer's grid. It's just it's messy, loud, and awesome. One of the few bands that I would love to join, if they need an extra guitarist doing like, oh, here we go. Ah, it's not, it's not my food. It's not my food. Um, and it also, a band that I'd love to go and see. 
you know, as long as the toilet facilities are adequate and uh, there's plenty of uh, places away from the mosh pit for people of my age to watch in comfort. Okay, so Joe Talbot is from Wales, this much we know. Um, I said punk before, but I've just read that he, he dismisses the label punk, as all good punks should do. Who likes being pigeonholed by, by anything? I mean, I don't think anybody ever describes what, you know, what the darkness does in, in a way that makes me happy. He says, so he's quoted as saying, for the last time, we're not a f***ing punk band. All right, but in the absence of a label that is more accurate, Let's say they're, let's say they're, what should we call it, um, noise, noisy, it's not, maybe it isn't punk, yeah, maybe it's not punk. It's, it isn't punk as I know it, but, you know, if Youngblood is punk, then that's, this has got more attitude than Youngblood, I think. Um, anyway, it's, let's just call it guitar-based attitude music. <laughs> Can we call it that? G, B, a, which sounds like grievous bodily arm, because you're so edgy you don't even say the H anymore. Uh, so guitar-based attitude music. Kabam. Kabam. <laughs> That's it. It's kabam music. Well, if it's not punk, then it's got to be kabam. Um, it reminds me of some stuff that I used to like in the in the nineties. Which is definitely more in the grunge realm, um, but I just I just love the way there's no there's no melody or or, or like anything that resembles harmonic information like up, up right up to the end of the second chorus. Although, you know, there is that. It's all anchored on that bass line, and then after what it does that, so then suddenly you find yourself in like a B flat major. But really played low in that low inversion. It's probably detuned somewhere. Then it goes like um, I think it goes, but obviously down. I can't do that very easily down there. So it does a little bit of ma major to minor, atonal dissonant stuff. Loads of feedback everywhere. It sounds like again, it's one of those things where it sounds like it's the easiest thing to do in the world, but it's not. You have to mean it. I really think you do. I mean, look at, they probably mean it. They must mean it. You don't do it for eight years if you don't mean it. You give up after six weeks and go back to being in the glass animals or whatever it is. You know, I don't think any of these guys would be happy in the glass animals. I think they they must be having a great time. And hats off to them. There are four Idols albums available. The first one was called Brutalism, Joy as an Act of Resistance, Ultra Mono, and Crawler. And um, so I recommend you download, stream buy physical copies and uh, get this band even further towards the top of the guitar-based music tree because, for me, the guitars is nearly the only thing you can hear. Um, for once, a band that operates in one of the rock subdivisions, I know they don't like punk, but it's going to be down, it's in there somewhere. And uh, I love them. You will too. What do you think? Should I uh, go for a slightly more 4 free free? Oh, someone's been sent off. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the ice. Adieu!